that is cool. Hey you guys, I wanna record this really quick because I am working on a couple of headshots and Luminar 4 is actually really good with their artificial intelligence. Um, you know, Luminar 4 is known for its sky replacements and things, but their AI intelligence on people, on portraits, on faces, and what you can do is just really cool by a couple of clicks. And you, I'm not having to go into Photoshop to do certain things. So let me jump in the computer and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is Luminar 4. This is uh, Mr. Marcus. He's a... Uh, He's a buddy of mine, he needed some headshots, and let me just show you what this thing can do in Luminar 4 that I just really like a lot. First of all, you can do raw files or your JPEG files. You can do either one. And honestly, I tested both and I didn't really see a big difference on um, what it can do. But this is the raw file because I want to see how it looks after the fact. Now. So you come over here, you're gonna click on the little smiley face where it says portrait. Then when you come to AI skin enhancer, you can click on that. Now, all you gotta do, if you wanna see what is happening here, let's just go all the way, just so you can see what happens, all right? Now, there is something called over retouching. I don't like to be over retouching my files. You know, I like my images to look like if you paid for a makeup artist, you know, what would they do to make you look good? And I think that's how your retouching should look. It shouldn't look plasticky. It shouldn't look digital. Um, so this is way too much, basically. So let's come back halfway. But just to, uh, let's go back all the way to the top again. So shine removal, let me show you what that does. You see right here, watch. Is that cool? So if you wanted to get rid of the shine, you can very easily. I am fine with it. Highlights and shadows is what we do. Um, but you can click this button right here where it says AI skin defects removal. All right, when you do that, it gets into the itty bitty things. And let me show you right up here. You can do this where you can see before and after. or you can turn that off and just hold this down for before, after, before, after. Crazy, right? Now, I'm gonna over, I'm gonna leave this overdone on purpose because I wanna show y'all something else. Then you come over here to the AI Portrait Enhancer. Now you have all these little levers. What's neat about these levers is, I find at least that it does a really good job of making small adjustments like when you move this little lever they're not huge increments they're kind of small so if you want to see drastic you need to go halfway first and then bring it back down from where you want it from there now if you're lighting correctly you shouldn't have to worry about face light what I'm concerned about is teeth and eyes we'll turn we'll turn up a pinch why not um, all right so teeth and eyes Eye whitening to me always looks digital. This is what ruins pictures, man, when you go too much. Look at that. He looks like a cartoon character, dude. I do not like that at all. Can't stand the eye whitening thing. However, the eye enhancer, let's go all the way. Look at that. Before, after, before, after. Is that cray cray? Now granted, that is way too much way overdone eye whitening can come down the eye enhancer man it takes care of that iris it brings up a... oh, that's my phone the eye enhancer does a great job with the iris bringing the colors out and it does do the whites a tad I find so isn't that cool all right so let's I like to be around Let's go to about 65 on your line over here. 65. Now, teeth. Scroll down to teeth whitening. Again, let's go all the way just to see a difference. Obviously, that is too much, but it does work. <laughs> oh my God. That is too much. So let's bring the teeth whitening down to the middle. And then let's look at 
before and after. Is that cool? So you can do this with the split screen for the before and after and then go make your adjustments from there. So you can see how far are you going because it's very difficult with, for your eyes. Your eyes always make adjustments as you make computer adjustments. You know, your eyes are adapting and sometimes you can't see, you can't judge that before and after without physically seeing before and after. So this feature is great when you're looking at how far am I going on my retouching? Is, is the skin way too far? Is the eyes too far you know it, it sharpens up a little bit it takes care of the iris love that uh, teeth maybe teeth I can go a little more so we can go 65 seems to be the magic number for me all right so turn it off before after before after that is cool so I wanted to show you that because literally you can save your settings as a preset at the bottom and all you gotta do is click literally you can take your entire row of images copy paste and you're done those exact same tweaks you did um, is applied to all of them how cool is that and then export and go pretty cool huh so look you guys i have a link below in the description where you have your referral link from yours truly you can get some uh some deals when you go over there and the people at luminar they're really good man i had some questions that responded very quickly um that's very impressive but the quality of their product really is way worth more than what they're charging in my opinion i think it could be charging more Shh, don't tell them i said that anyway go use the link and you can find some deals all right, you guys, have a great, fantabulous day. I'm going to see you the next video, which will be tomorrow, because I'm going to record a few more of these so you guys will have a, a step every other day or so. All right? Stay safe, stay healthy. I will see you next.